I first visited India two years ago while directing a film about global poverty. A billion people live here, one of every six on the planet. Only a quarter of them have access to clean water and half are illiterate. In a New Delhi slum, I came across an unusual scene, a computer embedded in a wall. It was surrounded by children. Turns out the computer was put here by the company next door, NIIT. While India suffers extreme poverty, it is also home to some of the world's most advanced high technology firms. Dr. Shugata Mitra is head of research and development here. For years his passion has been educating poor children. Removing what is increasingly being called the digital divide is an important issue, which means that everyone must have access. In 1999, Mitra launched an experiment that came to be known as the hole in the wall. He connected a high-speed computer to the internet and placed it in the wall that separates his firm's headquarters from the adjacent slum. Then, he watched who began to use it curious kids were immediately drawn to the computer. So when they said, can we touch it, I said, it's on your side of the wall. So the rules say whatever is on their side of the wall, they can touch. So they touched it. Within minutes, the children figured out how to point and click. By the end of the day, they were browsing. Given access and opportunity, the children quickly taught themselves the rudiments of computer literacy. A young boy named Rajender was the first to teach himself how to use the computer. Game और कुछ लगाते हैं, drawing जैसे, internet पे आती है सब, सिर्फ दिज़ नहीं देखता, कुछ दिन पहले गए थे अब नहीं गया, तालिबान वाला और वो लादेन वाला, लड़ाई हो रही थी अमेरिका की तालिबान से, बम गिर रहे थे, TV में और यहाँ फोटो में देखा he didn't know what a computer was. He, he was the first guy to have made the jump across uh, what I guess you could describe as maybe three or four thousand years of history in minutes actually. Rajinder's self-confidence soared after he taught himself how to use a computer. Second one is word. Good, better, best. Good, better, best. Very good. <coughs> now, I've seen a lot of change in him, and he has become quite bold and, uh, you may say, expressive also. And uh, I got great hopes on this child. So, internet kya hota hai? Ye, ye bata sakto. Jisam har chiz kar sakto. Uh, he says that with which you can do anything. By the time I returned to India this year, Mitra had already replicated his experiment in several other settings. Each time, the results were similar. Within hours, and without instruction, children began browsing the internet. Now, Mitra was about to place new computers in another poor community. Green, 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 green. Oh, shit. 
In a society where only one in three females can read, Mitra's experiment is a way for girls to overcome barriers. One schoolgirl named Anjana seemed especially enthusiastic. They reinvent even the terms because nobody taught them the words. So they don't, don't call a cursor a cursor, they call it a sui, which is Hindi for needle. And they don't call the hourglass symbol the hourglass symbol because they have never seen an hourglass before. They call it the damru, which is Shiva's drum, and it does look a bit like that. Before leaving India, I traveled south with Mitra to the rural state of Maharashtra, where he was installing still more computers. These computers are going to be powerful, they're going to be connected, and they're going to be uh, free, entirely free, uh, without any restrictions on their usage. internet <laughs> Kaya se aayi thi internet. Sandesh wohan karta hai to mujhe. Sandesh baato hota hai to. Sandesh? Mujhe apn dusra ka patra baato hota hai na. Ha. Tasha prakar hai mujhe. Aapla computer aur patra type hota hai to kya sandesh post hoti kar chaya hai ra. I don't even want to guess at what computer literacy might do to children, except to say that if cyberspace is considered a place, then there are people who are already in it and people who are not in it. And there seems to be general consensus of opinion that such segregation amongst cyber people versus non-cyber people is detrimental and it will cause a divide. If that is the case, then I think the hole in the wall gives us a method to create a door, if you like, through which large numbers of children can rush into this new arena and when that happens it would have changed our society forever.